Hey, what's up YouTube family? This is Leah Boone with Monarch Ministry. Welcome to the channel. So I have been having a rough evening and um, the last few days the grieving process has been it's been difficult and um, I was just sitting with the Lord right now with Lucy and she's like look at this doll <laughs> this is what you always do she's part Jack Russell Terrier so she's pretty rambunctious um, so I was sitting with the Lord and um, he was reminding me of some stuff that he had it's been telling me over the last you know a month or so and um, this was just brought to the forefront of my mind and I wanted to share it with you because I want you to know that like whatever you're going through you know we're gonna have tribulation in this life we're going to um, have some suffering but with God, with Jesus as the Lord of our life, those things do not affect us the way they do the rest of the world. And um, I've really been trying to get that across in, in, my, in my recent videos, um, you know, how, how Jesus has been such a present help in this time. And um, I just want to read to you what he helped me remember, what the Holy Spirit brought back to me. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and I'm starting at verse 7. But we have this treasure in earth, in earthen vessels, that the excellence of power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. Isn't that wonderful? I just stopped on that part right there because I thought the things that God tells me, I be, like I believe it. Sometimes the enemy comes in and makes me question myself, but when you start having that relationship with him, the things that happen spiritually and supernaturally like are so like real and tangible in that moment. And so you want to speak it out. You want to share it with people. We also believe and therefore speak knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you for all things are for your sakes that grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Don't lose heart. Keep going. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things that are not seen. 
For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things that are not seen are eternal. When Jesus starts to reveal himself to you and he starts to open up the supernatural to you, because that's where this relationship is. He's spirit. God is spirit. Jesus is spirit. The Holy Spirit is spirit. When he talks about, when Jesus talked about, you know, um, many people will come to me asking um, or saying, Lord, Lord, I, I prophesied in your name. I cast out demons in your name. And he said, depart from me. I never knew you. It's this relationship I believe that he's speaking of. Many people know of Jesus, but do they know who he is? He wants that relationship with you. It's the unseen realm. Who doesn't want to who doesn't want to experience the unseen realm? Some of it's really scary. But mostly it's just awesome. It's awesome in power. I've been hearing over the last year or so about how we need to be tapped into the supernatural to be able to survive what is coming. And in light of, you know, things that have happened recently to me, I would say that that is absolutely true. I don't think that I would have survived my daughter's passing if I hadn't known Jesus. Wow, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. God is amazing. He's amazing. He's, y'all, he's, when you, when you start to experience and you get the fear of the Lord in you. Not to be afraid of him. But to be in fear of his mighty power. Because you know that he really is in control of everything. He doesn't interfere with free will. That's not what I mean. But he is the same God that he was then, now and forever. He doesn't change. I'm gonna read that again. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Oh, that's... What did he say? He said... Um, where is it? What did I write down? Oh, okay, so he said, you are the remnant. Go back to the word about this soul. Okay, so in 2022, he gave me a word and I, I um, released a word about a vision of Tupperware. You know how Tupperware, you got you got to let the air out and then it seals? And Tupperware is known for this. It's a patent, I think. 
but when you let the air out and you seal that Tupperware, it's sealed and the food in there is going to stay good. Well, I had that vision and I heard, I'm sealing my chosen. You've made it. If you made it through that shaking, if you make it, if you made it through this web, <laughs> I'm turning the camera around. You've made it through the shaking. You are the remnant. Congratulations. We are hard pressed on every side. Oh, I was looking it up in here. Um, where was it? I didn't mark the page from that time. Oh, okay, here we go. Let me see if I can find it real quick, because this is from like a year, over a year ago. No, it was from a year ago. It was from like one year ago. It was from December of 2022. I think that there are a lot of words that are coming to pass. There's a lot of stuff that's fixing to, like you're fixing to see the manifestation of words given to you long ago, promises given to you long ago. I don't see it now. I saw it earlier. It was a work. It was a tough. It was a. I am sealing my chosen. And it was December. I believe it was December of last year. In Job, it says. Uh, when he puts me, when he tests me and puts me through the fire, I will come forth as gold. So for who this word is for, you are the remnant. You made it through the fire. God has tested you. He's crushed you. You were pressed. You were you were pressed like the, the um, oil press for the for the olive oil. You were squeezed. He's been refining you in the fire. He was getting you ready for your mission, your secret mission, your top secret 007 mission. He's been preparing you this whole time. You're about to step into your assignment, your major assignment. You are the remnant. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Um, if you would like to sow into this ministry, there's information in the description box below. And um, if you want to send me a prayer request or you have a question or um, you just want to chit chat, I love to talk to each and every one of you that sends me anything. Um, my email address is also down in the description box. And um, I just thank you all so much and I bless every single anything that comes in um, by the grace of God because it's not me doing any of this. This is all by the glory of God. And so I pray that, you know, Father, you receive all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I just cover this word with the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray that whoever um, this word reaches, that it edifies them, it strengthens them. Um, 
and uplifts them in Jesus' mighty name. Um, I pray that it is confirmation and um, helps them in their journey in the name of Jesus. And I come against any demonic attack over this word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. We adore you. We worship you. Jesus, you are king. You are king over our lives. You are the Lord of lords, the host of all hosts. Jesus, we love you. In your holy name, I say amen. Um, now I will talk to y'all in the next video. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm probably going to work. I think I might go to my family's tomorrow for a little while. That should be interesting. I don't think I went last year. I hadn't been in like seven years. I was all, I went left for about six, seven years. Didn't, it was pretty much estranged from the family. I was cut off. I was cut off. But, now I'm back and I'm gung-ho and on fire for Jesus. So I went from one extreme to the other. <laughs> they think I'm crazy. It's, it's hilarious, but I don't I don't ever <laughs> do anything halfway. I mean, if I'm gonna be in it, I'm in it. I'm just in it. That's it, that's me. I'm not halfway doing anything when I was doing drugs I did it extreme all the way you know what I'm saying okay well I love y'all so much y'all have a blessed night bye